This is my job now. I'm taking over the Keen Ramps YouTube channel. Uh, Corey just hired me to do this. So you guys are gonna see me a lot more now. You're gonna see my face a lot more. I said that twice for no reason. And uh, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to drop in. We have all these ramps and a giant ramp company here. And I was scrolling through the Keen Ramps YouTube channel and there's not one how to drop in video or like techniques about dropping in. So I figured this would be a good one to start. Let's kick it off. Hey. filming YouTube videos. What's up, buddy? Hey. So before you even make it to the ramp, you want to get used to this motion of putting your tail on the ground with your board standing up, your back foot on the tail, like the ball of your foot in the center of the tail. I would say probably put your front foot just under the bolts. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Don't put your front foot under the bolts. I would put it up a little bit higher so that you have a wider base, more control. You're covering more surface area because the wider your stance is, I feel like as a beginner, the more comfortable I felt. A little bit wider of a base if you're just learning how to drop in and you just want to get used to adjusting your weight from here to here. I know that doesn't seem crazy and that doesn't seem like a lot and it might not even seem like much at all, but what I'm trying to like teach you here is there's a weight adjustment, especially on the ramp. You know, because you're going from a lateral position with the board and then the board is dipping down into possibly, depending on how big the ramp is, a vertical position. So you're gonna need to adjust your weight accordingly to the transition of the ramp. You want to make sure that your knees are bending. You definitely don't wanna drop them like this. That's gonna cause you to slip back or if you're leaning too far forward, you're just gonna like eat shit and face plant. So you want to make sure that you have a solid bend in your knees. This stance here, is going to keep your base very stable. Probably best if you learn on a bank that has no transition, just a, a flat bank, um, and then start at the top where the bank meets the deck of the ramp and put your tail up there and drop in on that. Practice on that first so that you can get comfortable with the motion of going down something and having your weight change from a upright stationary position to a inclined position. There's not too much transition on this ramp here. So if you have a ramp like this at home or even at your local skate park, I feel like most local skate parks nowadays have smaller obstacles that kind of gradually get more gnarly in size. First thing you're going to want to do is put your tail on the coping. The coping is where the transition and the deck come to a meet and you have your grind material at the corner. You're gonna put your tail scoping like this and step on with your back foot the way that I told you on flat ground, on the ball of your foot and the center of the tail. It's safe to say that you could get away with just putting it over the top two bottom bolts and that should be a good, good wide enough stance for you to drop in for the first time. Okay, this is gonna be the scariest part of the whole thing when you first start learning how to drop in. It's when you go from a stationary flat position to a, an incline rolling position. The most common mistake is people don't lean far enough forward. And that's because I think people are afraid of leaning too far forward and slamming face first in the flat bottom. That is pretty unlikely to happen. The most likely slam scenario that you're going to encounter is not leaning far enough forward and slipping back. You're gonna want to put more weight over this front leg than you would imagine. So, like I said, when we were on the flat bottom, you wanna connect your front wheels with the incline. Connect your front wheels with the incline, keep your knees bent, and make sure you're leaning forward. If you have a friend that you go to the skate park with, or your parents, you can hold onto someone's shoulder, you know, so you kinda of have almost this like training wheel method going on um, so that you can get used to changing your body weight from a stationary flat position to an incline. That's really gonna be like the biggest challenge, I think, is getting your body weight used to going from flat stationary to incline. Cause you just really have to trust that you're gonna make it down the ramp and not slip out. You like, the ramp is gonna do the work for you, realistically. So you just need to allow that to happen. You kind of need to let go and just let the ramp do what it does. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna carry you to the bottom safely as long as your knees are bent and your weight is centered. Repetition is gonna, make perfection, so just do it a bunch until you know you feel pretty comfortable riding on transition. Like when you're street skating, there's a lot of really steep walls 
that people try to skate. And if you can find one of those, I would say try dropping in on stuff like that. After you get something like this down, after you've dropped in probably on all the quarter pipes at your local skate park, the thing that that teaches you when, when you have like a really steep bank, it teaches you how to like really drastically shift your weight very quickly. I'm just gonna reiterate this because I think it's the most important step about learning how to drop in. You know, you really just want to keep your knees bent and you want to be leaning forward over this front leg. Because if you, again, if you're too far back, like that is the most common thing. People will drop in and they won't fully commit to touching their front wheels on the ramp and they'll slip back or they might get like a tap on the ramp, but they're kind of scared to really, really commit and like really put the board down on the ramp. I've seen it happen time and time again. I did it a bunch when I was first learning how to skate. So the reason why bending your knees is so important or the other reason why it's so important, it's not just because, you know, it gives you a nice sturdy base, but also the lower that you are to the ground, the the better the slam is gonna be. And when I say better, I mean, the, the, the better off you're gonna be when slamming, because you're lower to the ground. You're not taking such a harsh fall, because if you're standing straight up here, this is a five foot 10 face slam to the ground, but if I'm dropping in down here, being all safe and cozy, this is what, four feet, you know? So you're gonna take less impact if you eat shit like this. And it's kind of easier to, you know, catch yourself um, if you're gonna fall to the ground. Cody here just had another good suggestion. Uh, before dropping in, if you can, if you have the resources, the skate park, the accessibility, whatever, um, of a mini ramp where there's quarter pipes on both sides, pumping the ramp is gonna help you be more comfortable dropping in. Because if you're getting used to, you know, the change, the quick changing of the terrain, and you also get used to bending your knees on the ramp, you know, it's gonna get you more comfortable with the fact that like, you're going from flat bottom to incline. Flat bottom to incline. And then, you know, learning how to pump and, uh, you know, kind of push off the ramp with your knees is a different story. I think I feel like we could probably make a different video out of that, diving into that whole topic and why that's beneficial. But, you know, for now, if you can, pumping the ramp will get you used to the transition. But again, the scariest part, I think, is going from that flat stationary position on top to dramatically inclined. Yeah, if you guys have any questions or if I left something out that helped you um, or if there's any other just drop in questions or any other trick tip questions or any other videos that you would like to see on this channel moving forward, let me know, leave a comment, I will read them, I will respond to them and you know, if it's uh, if I get enough comments on the same thing, I can make a whole other video about it.